Well, I'm, I'm exceptionally proud of them. If you look at, we didn't play many people, and the people we did play played a ton of minutes. Um, and, and again, I, not to not to keep reiterating uh, how short we are uh, depth-wise. Uh, I just didn't know if we could hang on at the end, and, and you know what? We got a little bit stronger. We got a little bit stronger at the end playing those few kids a lot of minutes. You got to shoot when you're on the road. It's not an easy thing to do, but in a building that they have never been in before because of uh, some sort of an excuse, they didn't get to uh, <laughs> shoot in a shoot around here. They shot 62% from the floor, 50% from the three-point line, 74% your camels from the free throw line. Well, the, the kids are doing a great job at the free throw line. We have, we have put a lot of time and a lot of effort into getting better in that particular area. And, you know, it's the first time in my 30 years of coaching I've never been in uh, an arena to shoot before I've, I've, I've played, you know, uh, the night before or the, or the day of. You get one of the two. Well, last night we couldn't get in because of volleyball, and, and uh, eventually they were going to let us in at a really awkward time for us. So we decided to rest at the hotel. So uh, you know, it, it looks like it was the right call. Speaking of shooting, a big key to this game, Coach, and you've been preaching it all year, saying you wanted to see the defense be better. They were very good tonight. Iowa shot just 36 percent from the floor, 27 percent from the three-point line in their old building. Well, that's pretty remarkable. It, it is. And, uh, you know, when you have wins like this, Chris, I say our staff did this and, and did that. We were well prepared. There's no question about that. But it doesn't matter how well you prepare if you don't have kids to play with a lot of heart. And this was about our kids uh, deciding that they were just as good as that, that team from the Big Ten. And, and uh, I think they believed early on that, that, that they can win in a lot of different places. Four of your players in uh, double figures tonight. Uh, Rico Ferguson had a fantastic game uh, as he had 12 points, 8 for 9 from the free throw line. Eric Griffin, 23 points, 13 rebounds, 6 block shots. Yeah, and some incredible blocks. I mean, every time they tried to to make a run, he was like Akeem Olajuwon or somebody, uh, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or something in there. They could not get to the rim. And uh, uh, so our, our guards defensively can put that kind of heat on the perimeter out there and make them shoot poorly when they know they got somebody like Eric backing them up if they get driven by. So, uh, you know, that, that's a pretty good combination. And, and yeah, you talk about Rico's double figures, but i got to get in some accolades. Uh, I've been aggravated because he does not rebound the ball. He played 30 minutes and didn't rebound uh, a week ago, not one rebound. That's, that's impossible. But uh, he got six boards tonight, and that, that was huge for our basketball team. Coach, you're fighting Camels after the 77-61 win over Iowa. Go to 5-0 and on the season. That is the best start in Campbell basketball history, and not only the best start, but win number five over this team from the Big Ten. Where does this one rank up there in wins for your time here at Campbell? Well, it, it's a lot of fun. There's, there's no question to, to go on um, uh, the BCS floor and have your kids play their hearts out and, and get rewarded with that, that kind of success. And, uh, you, you know, um, I, I can remember at a time when I first came to Campbell, we won so few games, it was, I would get all these congratulatory cards and letters for winning a game. And uh, then it became, okay, now, uh, coach, that was an ugly win. Well, we're getting greedy, aren't we? We're going to start critiquing the types of wins that we actually have now. Um, I, I just hope that we can continue to build on this, and, and this is not an aberration that Campbell continues to build a strong foundation. We had a good signing this fall, and uh, I, I think we got a young team that could really develop into a special group. Uh, we, we've got a first-class university, a first-class facility, and we got a lot of classy kids, and we just got to build on it.